Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. 3x plus 8 whole squared divided by x plus 3 whole cubed is equal to 324. Our job is to find all possible values of x such that x is a real number. So let's start by dividing both sides of this equation by 27. Left hand side we divide by 27. So this will become 3 times x plus 8 whole squared divided by this 27 can be written as 3 cubed times x plus 3 whole cubed is equal to this 324 can be written as 12 times 27 divided by 27. So this 27 will be considered or with this 27 and this will become 3 times x plus 8 whole squared divided by this 3 cubed times x plus 3 whole cubed can be written as 3 times x plus 3 whole cubed is equal to 12. Next, 3 times x plus 8 whole squared divided by, we distribute this 3, so 3 times x will become 3x and 3 times plus 3 will become plus 9 whole cube is equal to 12. Next, 3 times x plus 8 whole squared divided by this 3x plus 9 can be written as 3 times x plus 8 plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 12. Now we suppose that let 3 times x plus 8 is equal to 1 over n and n cannot be equal to 0. So, this equation will become 1 over n whole squared divided by 1 over n plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 12. Now, this 1 over n whole squared will become 1 over n squared divided by, we can write the denominator of this one, 1 and we take LCM of n and 1. LCM of n and 1 is n. n divided by n is 1. 1 times this one, 1. Plus n divided by 1 is n. n times this one, n. Whole cubed is equal to 12. Next, 1 over n squared divided by this 1 plus n over n whole cubed will become 1 plus n whole cubed divided by n cubed is equal to 12. Now, we multiply the numerator and denominator by n cubed. We multiply the denominator by n cubed. So, this n cubed will be considered out with this n cubed and this n squared will be considered out with this cube. So, this will become n divided by 1 plus n whole cube is equal to 12. Now, we add and subtract 1 in the numerator. So, this will become n plus 1 minus 1 divided by this 1 plus n is same as n plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 12 and we consider this uh, n plus 1 as a single term. So, this can be written as uh, n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 whole cubed minus 1 divided by n plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 12. This n plus 1 will be considered or with this uh, cube and here left uh, square. So, this will become 1 over n plus 1 
होल स्क्वेड माइनस वन ओवर एन प्लस वन होल क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व न दिस एक्सप्रेशन कैन रिटर्न एज वन ओवर एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वेड माइनस दिस एक्सप्रेशन कैन रिटर्न एज वन ओवर एन प्लस वन होल क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व एंड सपोज दैट वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू ए सो दिस इक्वेशन विल बिकम ए स्क्वेर माइनस ए क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व वी मूव दिस ट्वेल्व टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो दिस विल बिकम ए स्क्वेर माइनस ए क्यूब माइनस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू जीरो Next, a squared minus a cubed. This negative twelve can be written as a negative four minus eight is equal to zero, and a squared minus a cubed minus the four is same as two squared minus this eight is same as two cubed is equal to zero. Now we combine these two terms, a squared and negative two squared. And we combine these two terms: a negative a cubed minus two cubed. So this will become a squared minus two squared. We use parentheses to make this a group minus. Due to this negative sign, this negative a cubed will become positive a cubed, and this negative two cubed will become plus two cubed is equal to zero. And by using this uh, algebraic identity. A squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become a plus two times a minus two minus by using this algebraic identity, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b. Times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This will become a plus two times a squared minus two times a plus four is equal to zero. Now this a plus two is a common factor, so we factor out this a plus two. And in bracket left, in bracket left, this a minus two minus this a squared minus two a plus four. In bracket left, a minus two minus a squared minus two times a plus four is equal to zero. Next, a plus two times a minus two. Negative times a squared will become negative a squared, and negative times negative two a will become plus two times a, and negative times plus four will become negative four. It's equal to zero. Next, a plus two times we write this negative a squared first, negative a squared, and this two a plus one a will become plus three times a. And negative two minus four will become negative six. Is equal to zero. From here, either this expression a plus two is equal to zero, or this expression negative a squared plus three times a minus six is equal to zero. From this equation, we get the value of a is equal to negative two. And from this equation, we multiply both sides of this equation by negative one. So this will become a squared minus three times a plus six is equal to zero. Now we see the discriminant is greater than zero or less than zero. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus four ac. So this is equal to negative three squared. Minus four times one times six. 
this is equal to 9 minus 24 that is equal to negative 15 so discriminant is less than 0 no real solutions can be formed from this equation so we accept only this value of a negative 2 now recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, 1 over n plus 1 is equal to a. We have supposed that uh, 1 over n plus 1 is equal to a. So, this will become 1 over n plus 1 is equal to negative 2. And this implies that uh, 1 is equal to negative 2 times uh, n plus 1. And this implies that uh, 1 is equal to negative 2n minus 2. And this implies that uh, 2 times n is equal to negative c. And this implies that uh, n is equal to negative 3 over 2. And if we take a reciprocal on both sides, this implies that uh, 1 over n is equal to negative 2 over 2. 3. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 3x plus 8 is equal to 1 over n. We have supposed that 3 times x plus 8 is equal to 1 over n. Now, we replace this 1 over n with this value of 1 over n negative 2 over 3. So, this will become 3 times x plus 8 is equal to negative 2 over 3. And we can write the denominator of this expression 1. We use cross multiplication. We multiply 3 by 3x plus 8 and we multiply negative 2 by 1. So, this will become 3 times 3x plus 8 is equal to negative 2 times 1 and 3 times 3x will become 9 times x. 3 times plus 8 will become plus 24 is equal to negative 2 times 1 will become negative 2. And this implies that 9 times x is equal to negative 26 and this implies that x is equal to negative 26 over 9. This is the value of x, this is the final answer of this problem.